Hey guys, welcome to the Milk and Bush channel. This week's video is all about heatless hairstyles that are perfect for medium length hair. Let's get straight into it. First step is the cotton candy bun. To start, you want to create an anchor ponytail at the top of your head like so. This will be the base for your Milk and Blush wefts. Clip in your Milk and Blush wefts around the base of this anchor ponytail, starting with the wefts with the fewest clips. You can add as many as you like. I'm starting with a two clip, followed by a three clip, followed by my super thick four clip quad weft. Once all of those wefts are secure, flip your hair over and tie your hair into a high ponytail. And you want to make this as neat as you possibly can, so go in with a comb and smooth away those flyaways. And now for the cotton candy part. Take a comb or a back comb and brush and back comb this ponytail. You don't want to hold back with this, so go really nuts. Once you've back combed the whole ponytail, you just want to take it and smooth it over slightly on the outside. And now you can twist all of this hair into a bun and pin in place. And to finish the look, smooth down any flyaways with some hairspray. And you're done. This look is a little bit on the eccentric side, but still totally wearable. Next is the pin-up braid. And you want to create a three-strand braid at the back of your head. Secure this with an elastic, but on the last loop of the hair, don't pull all of the hair through at the end. This will create a little loop. And now you can pull on the outside of the braid to loosen it and make it look thicker. And now it's time to pin the braid, so get your hands on some bobby pins. Roll the braid underneath itself and pin it in place at the nape of your neck. You can do this as tightly or as loosely as you'd like. And that's literally all there is to it. This look is super pretty, really relaxed and perfect if you don't want to put any heat on your hair. And now for the tucked updo. Take a section of hair from either side of your face and bring them back towards the back of your head to meet in the middle and tie these with an elastic. Now create a topsy tail by flipping the hair up and through the gap in the middle. Then separate your hair into three sections and tie elastics at the end of each section. If you have layers, you want to make sure that those layers are incorporated into the hair tie. Now take the middle section, bring it up and through the topsy tail that you've created and pin this in place. Cross one of the outside sections under the middle and feed the ends through the gap in the middle and pin this in place. Take the remaining section and simply feed it through the gap of the middle section and pin in place. And that's the finished look. This relaxed updo is so perfect for special occasions and you can dress it down to make it more casual too. Up next is the braided halo bun. Grab a flexible hold hairspray, spray it onto the lengths of your hair and scrunch for texture. Now you want to take two one clip wefts from your Milk and Blush set and clip one weft onto the other. This creates an even thicker one clip weft. And now you want to braid this. I'm going for a fishtail because I'm completely obsessed with them at the moment, but you can go for any braid you like. And just secure this with an elastic and pinch and pull on the outsides to make the braid look even thicker. Clip in this braid behind your ear with the clip facing upwards. Bring it over the top of your head and pin in place on the other side behind the other ear. And this will create your braided halo. You can leave the look like this, or to finish, you can tie all of the hair into a messy bun. I like to take pieces of hair out at the front of my face of this for that really boho relaxed vibe. And there you have it, a super quick heatless look that's perfect for any occasion. And lastly, the braided ponytail. Create an anchor ponytail at the back of your head. Your anchor ponytail will determine where your ponytail sits, so position this as high or as low as you like. And simply clip in your Milk and Blush wefts around this anchor ponytail, starting with the wefts with the fewest clips. For my ponytail, I'm opting for a two clip weft, followed by a three clip, followed by my super thick four clip quad weft. And now you can brush all of your hair back. Take a section of hair from the side of your head and create a Dutch braid. Start off with a three strand braid and as you work your way back, incorporate hair into the outside sections. And once you can't incorporate any more hair, finish with a three strand braid, 
and secure with an elastic. And just repeat this on the other side. For some lift and texture, you can back comb your roots and this will give you lots of volume. And of course, smooth this over to neaten it up. Then gather all of your hair, including the braids, and tie it into a ponytail. Create two three-strand braids on either side of the ponytail. This will give the impression that the Dutch braids you started from the side of your head are running all the way through the ponytail. And to finish the look, take a section of hair from the ponytail, wrap it around the hair tie and pin in place. And there you have it, a braided ponytail that's super Pinterest worthy. So next time you're stuck for a heatless hairstyle, give one of these a try. And if you do recreate any of these, don't forget to share a pic on Instagram and tag Milk and Blush because we'd love to see your dreamy creations. And we'll catch you in our next video.